Okay, this is for lesson or activity nine. We were supposed to go out and do um, one of our favorite outdoor activities, I guess sports, that we really enjoy doing. And I chose to just walk around because I really like to walk. And the day that I did it, there was a lot of snow on the ground. And so I actually didn't need to make any modifications to my body to give me a disability because I have what's called chondromalacia, where um, the cartilage in my knees are soft and my kneecap likes to slip around and it's really, really painful. So I'm not supposed to walk on uneven surfaces unless it's sand because sand gives away and it's pretty easy. But snow is really bad. So I just went out walking without my... Um, my knee brace or my cane that, that I really don't like to use because this is this is college and people stare at you. Um, but yeah, I went out and I did that. Let's see. I'm reading the instructions for or the directions for the the questions. There we go. The questions that we're supposed to be answering. Um, yeah. What it says how. How would you make your activity accessible? Well, in my case, I would need to, it's just walking, um, so, but I would need to have like my knee brace or my cane with me to make it easier. A uh, level surface, like, like at the park, there's a track that you can walk around that would make it easier. Let's see, how difficult was it? It was pretty difficult because it got pretty painful and I actually had to like sit down for, not sit down, but I had to stop and wait and decide like whether or not I really wanted to be doing this. And it was frustrating. Um, it was not fun. Uh, what went right? What went wrong? Um, well, what went right is it was a good experiment. What went wrong was exactly what I thought would go wrong. It was really painful um, to continue. Uh, what would I do differently? What have I learned from the experience that changed? I would definitely take my cane next time. Um, and it gave me, it like kind of open, broadened my perspective of what it would be like for people who have like even worse injuries, like say someone who is an amputee or has like s spina bifida or a uh, cerebral palsy or something like just walking in the snow would just I can imagine would just be really incredibly difficult to keep your balance um how would this help me to be more aware of individuals with disabilities probably just be more courteous like if you see someone struggling in the snow just ask them like hey do you need a hand like if they're trying to go up steps that are covered in snow and there's no rail or if they're like going across the street and you know there's like black ice all over the place like i i, I would just want someone to be courteous like just be like hey are you do you need a hand? Do you need someone? Like, I know that's a typical thing to do for old ladies crossing the street, but hey, like, people with disabilities might need help with that too. Um, disability. How would you include them in activities? Like, say you were going out on, like, a ward hiking trip or, like, ward caroling. It's Christmas time, and there's someone who you know has difficulty walking maybe offer to give them a buddy who can help them like up and down the curb or like over really like slippery surfaces or uneven surfaces um because i know that's one of the things that i really struggled with was like going over bumps and hills and up and down and and i mean like i had to walk for a pretty long time before no, I didn't. I walked for maybe like five minutes before it started hurting. But yeah, I mean, like, even if they have a cane, because I know sometimes when I use my cane, it if it's on ice, like it's a rubber tip. So it, it I mean, it's gonna, it slips out depending on what way I put pressure on it. So yeah. 
yeah, it was it was a pretty interesting experience. Pros and cons. Well, the pros were that it gave me a perspective for how people with walking difficulties function. And the cons were it's like I already, it's my own difficulty. So I already knew what kind of what to expect. Um, and I probably could have tried something different, like walking blind or something like that. And if I had friends, I probably would. <laughs> but my friends are all really busy working people, including my husband. Um, yeah. So that was my challenge for activity nine, application lesson number nine.